Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Robert, the Leather Cowboy Muhammad, down here, Premier Leather Crafters, with another video. And this one is a tip video. You know, uh, apologies already off the rip for the hat, but, you know, I got to go get my hair cut, but I had to represent the number one team in the nation. You already know Auburn all day, every day, war damn eagle. But let's get back to the, um, the logist of this video here <clears throat> and i was working on a project i got commission uh, a call to give me commission to uh do two custom uh cell phone cases for two different size phones the iphone 6 plus and the galaxy note which you know i already had the kits here to to make those uh tip number one uh, you guys, if you're out there, and if you don't have um, the kit already, I would tell you to purchase just one kit, just one, and poster board. You can fab your own, and you can keep these, wrap them in cellophane tape after you get them cut out to preserve them, keep the, uh, keep the shape of them. And you can already see where we already pre-cut, already pre-cut the holes and everything. And we're just going to wrap that in, in uh, packaging tape, which I have here. Packaging tape goes a long way. And you can go ahead and just make you, make you a pattern off of the poster board. And then that way, in the future, if somebody has uh, uh, a phone or they want to call back again, then I'll already know because it'll have a Galaxy Note or iPhone 6 Plus, And then I know automatically it'll fit this pattern here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Or if you can, if you're getting off into customization, full customization, where you're going to go into wet molding, then, you know, it's another process on doing that for a custom phone holster. But uh, that's just one part of this video. The second part of this video is a valuable, valuable lesson out there. And it will preserve and keep you from wasting money and wasting material. And that is uh, today I'm going to talk about backing the phone, the, the leather. <laughs> Or putting their backing on the leather. Now, I I was I got this phone call like Thursday, and it was for an anniversary gift, um, and they need them by the fourteenth. <laughs> exactly. Number one, do not cut any projects shorter than a week. It will be pure disastrous for your business, for your mental psyche. And, and to to do a project under a week. I don't care what it is. Even if it's nothing but a bracelet. It's going to take a week to get it done. And so when I got this, I was like, ah, man, it's going to be rushed. You know, and I hate rushing. Um, because once once I get to working and creative activity starts coming through, then, you know, there's no telling why I'll take a project. That's what makes it full custom, you know, when you have time to sit and think and boom, boom, boom. And I'm not one of those people who can just sit down and draw something up. Now, again, my forte or my wheelhouse is not drawing. I'm just now taking a class on drawing to where I can do full customized work. I'm a stamper. And I create shapes in different things with the stamps. And so I, I, yeah, I tried to take a shortcut. And not a shortcut on the the quality of the material. I, I, I took a shortcut on one of the key steps. Huh, <sighs> Jesus. And that, that's how late I've been up all night long, you know, trying to get this thing pressed out so I can get them in the mail tomorrow. Today's Sunday, so I'm grinding all day today to get these in the mail tomorrow, Monday, so she can have them. Uh, it's going to take about three days, two to three days for the mail to get over to, to Georgia. So uh, I got to get these things in the mail tomorrow. And that's completely tooled out, completely put together completely antiqued and sealed and all of the colors locked in and ready for shipping. Press for time. And then this happens. By eliminating a shortcut. 
or by taking a shortcut and eliminating a step. And you see what happens here? Cool piece. And I want you guys to see how, how, again, how we took the stamps and created this little ribbon. And that's all done with a camouflage tool, which actually I'll show you better on the next piece and show you what it looks like. But this is all done with camouflage tooling. This, the, the chain here was all done uh, by a border tool. And then we took a cedar to make the little chain link holes. And then that, that's all that we've done. Just to take, take, learn your tools, create shapes to make other shapes. Cool, fine. Now, and what I've done when I, the process that I skipped, or the, the, the key part that I skipped, I didn't put a backing on my leather. Now, most of the times when you hear this uh, amongst leather crafters, <laughs> Uh, and it's something very simple, very cheap, and this is what it is. Good old American duct tape. Good old duct tape. Yes. A thousand and one uses, and once it's on, it's on. But the great part about it now, and I know your mind is like, well, hey, Cowboy, how is that going to work with leather working? Cool. What we do, um, I take that duct tape, and... I actually, I started on a new piece. I had to redo the whole foam because this one was completely shot. The leather start to, to stretch and bend and warp from the tooling work. And I don't know if you can see that, but you can't even push that out. Now, even, even if I did try to shortcut again and glue this, I'll glue this go ahead and glue the uh, lining to this already, it's still going to have that wrinkle look. And it's going to, you can't fix that. You can't beat that down. That is just ruined because the integrity of the leather is gone. And this is just a bad piece. So, took it, threw it away. I have some great, no, I don't throw it away. But I have some great belt keeping uh, material. So, we're going to use that for belt keepers. <sighs> for belt keepers. Sorry, you guys. Man, it's been a long night. I didn't get it in. I didn't. I don't think I laid down until probably about one or two. But I really don't know what time I went to sleep. But anyway, uh, this is what we're going to do with the duct tape. We're going to line and put a backing on our piece. Cut out a whole new piece. This is why you see a lot of crafters cut bigger or larger than the actual piece that they're working with. You never want to cut a piece out exact, exactly, and start tooling on it because of this one mishap. Now, even though I did cut this one a little larger, a little bigger, but the integrity of the leather didn't hold up. That a lot of times you'll run into that particular problem also is once you case the leather, and we talked about casing before in another video, to where you, you moist it or wet it. If it's too wet, that can also happen. And it can also this is why you want to put a backing on there. Just in case those little things. If it's too wet, it still was not in uh, the tape. Especially duct tape. Duct tape is so great because it keeps the leather together, woven together. And that's what you want to do. That's what you um, want to keep that leather together. So when you start tooling on it and carving on it, it will not, look at there, it will stay the shape that it is. That's the power of putting a backing. And you can get this a dollar at Dollar General. I think you guys can still see the little Dollar General logo in there. Yep. You get four of these for a dollar at Dollar General. So very, very, very crucial piece. One of probably one of the most important pieces or elements in my toolbox. And that's to back everything. And I back everything. And, and belts, bracelets, uh, phone cases, it doesn't matter what the piece is. You want to put that that tape, that duct tape backing on there because it keeps you from ruining a piece 
or making a whole bunch of extra belt keepers. But anyway, this is what this video is about, you guys. I thank you guys for chilling. Oh, let me show you this. What? What? Uh, see? And that's just a regular small camouflage tool. But look at the other shape that it created by simply turning the, the, the camouflage tool the other way. We stamped this one with the fans going up. And then the interior line, we stamped it with the fans going down. And we offset that. I offset that. So for every point. Here, I put the rounded portion of the back uh, of the camouflage tool on that. That's what made this little rope twist here. Learning your tools, you guys. Learning your tools and knowing what your tools can do and using your tools to create another shape. Again, very important. Back it. Put a backing on there. It doesn't matter what the piece is. It doesn't matter what you're using or what you're working with. And properly, this is another reason why I use the spray bottle because it, to keep it from getting too wet. You don't want it to be too wet unless you're going to mold something. Now, and, and that's a uh, uh, very key. But hey, I thank you guys for chilling with me these these past eleven and fifteen eleven minutes. But very important, duct tape. Line the back of your leather piece to hold everything in and preserve the integrity of the leather work that your two leather piece that you're tooling on. This is the Leather Cowboy right here, Premier Leather Crafters, down south in the dirty, dirty Alabama. You know, hey, as always, see you guys on the other side. Peace.